Automated room decontamination systems using hydrogen peroxide have received increased interest in recent years as an alternative to manual disinfection. Naturally, you would assume that any automated decontamination system using hydrogen peroxide works the same as any other, but in reality, there are important differences between hydrogen peroxide vapour and hydrogen peroxide fogging systems. These differences can impact the efficacy and how long the process takes. Vapour systems typically work by flash evaporating 35% hydrogen peroxide to make a true vapour, then distributing it into a room until it reaches the saturation point, at which point an invisible layer of microcondensate is laid down on all exposed surfaces. Conversely, Fogging systems produce an aerosol from a solution usually containing a lower concentration of hydrogen peroxide, typically in the 5-12% to range, and often other antimicrobial chemicals. The aerosol comprises of droplets, which are still in the liquid phase, not vapour, therefore distribution is more challenging and the droplets are prone to the effects of gravity, whereas a true vapour is not. This has a profound impact on the efficacy of the process, which is backed up by a number of studies where both technologies were tested with spores. Hydrogen peroxide vapour eliminated spores from all test sites, whereas spores were still recovered after decontamination with hydrogen peroxide fogging. When it comes to how long the process takes, Fogging systems typically rely on passive decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, leading to longer cycle times, whereas vapour systems utilise catalytic aeration devices, which makes the process much quicker. For example, the total cycle time for a 50 metre cubed room is around one and a half hours for vapour decontamination and two to three hours for fogging systems. For these reasons, Hydrogen peroxide vapour is considered the preferred decontamination solution.